Good. Good afternoon, uh, uh, everybody here to, uh, to ODI, and also uh, uh, welcome uh, the online viewers. I think the uh, number of online viewers is greater than the number of people here, but we are very uh, happy that there are so many um, people here today as well at, uh, at, at our premises. Welcome to the meeting uh, at organized jointly by ODI, ESRC, and DFID, uh, entitled Misconceptions, Realities, and uh, Unanswered Questions, China's Engagement with Africa. And we're very grateful for, um, uh, for Dan Colbert uh, from the ESRC for putting this, uh, uh, this meeting together. Uh, China's uh, engagement in Africa is uh, a very um, uh, interesting topic, um, and also a topic where the development community can sometimes be slow to catch up. I remember um, being a, a, a pan at a panel here at ODI three years ago, where we also were talking about the new role of China uh, in, uh, in low-income countries, and in particular in Africa. And we had uh, people like Deborah Brottingham uh, and others. And we were at that stage thinking about uh, the perception of, uh, of China, which was very much one of uh, China in Africa liaising with, uh, with the dictatorships, and uh, uh, whereas in fact, in reality, of course, there, is, uh, there was much more going on, and, uh, and they were doing, at that stage, already much more. But since then, of course, much more has happened. And um, uh, this meeting is sort of centered around uh, the DFID ESRC China and Africa Research Program, which I'm sure you've, uh, you, you're all uh, familiar with, and uh, we hear more uh, on later on. And that, has put, uh, um, that program includes issues like uh, uh, learning from China uh, for uh, development in, uh, in Africa. It, it, it's about issues about China and Africa in the area of natural resources, in the area of uh, infrastructure, in the area of agriculture, productivity transfer, special economic zones. Lots of things have, uh, uh, have happened. Um, in, uh, in, in the last few years, but also uh, actually in the, in, in the last uh, 10, 15, 20 years, and probably also before, before then. Today's meeting is in two parts. Uh, we will first have uh, uh, a discussion uh, where we hear from, uh, from the experts. Uh, they'll share their research insights and also their recent experiences. Uh, and that will take us up until about uh, 4.30. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll hand over to um, uh, DFID and ERSA C uh, so that they can talk about the, the research program uh, that has been scoped out and, uh, uh, and they can discuss about um, the details of how you can apply, what are the, uh, and, and, and the nuts and bolts of the program. Right, um, let us first uh, think about the, um, the panel uh, that we've got here. Um, who will help us to, to think through uh, the, um, the, the questions and, and, and the title of the, um, uh, of, of the program. We've got an excellent panel here uh, of four, uh, four experts who can, can talk about their recent research and their, uh, their experiences. We'll first hear from uh, Professor Rafi Kablinski. He's a professor at the Open University at the Department for Policy and Practice. And we all know him from his path-breaking work on, uh, on the Asian drivers uh, many years ago. Um, but he's done a lot of work on, uh, uh, also on the impact of China, specifically on Africa. Uh, we'll then uh, move to Professor Xiaolong Fu, uh, who is the, uh, the founding director of the Technology and Management for Development Center, and also a professor of technology and international development at the University of Oxford. Um, she is running various research grants in, the, in this area, including one uh, at the, uh, of the DFID ESRC Growth Research Program, where she's also looking at the impact of, uh, of China on, uh, on African uh, countries. Uh, we'll then move to uh, Chris Alden, who is uh, the co-head of the African International Affairs Program at the LSE. Uh, he's a reader in international relations, and he, is, uh, of course, has done a lot of work on uh, the impact of China on Africa many years before the development world, world was, uh, was catching up. Um, and then uh, we hear from, uh, from Jembo Hao, who is the uh, uh, researcher in the International Economic Development Group uh, and has also been an, an ODI fellow in, uh, in Nigeria and who can tell us, uh, uh, talk, talk to us about his experiences there. Right, um, uh, the plan is that we, uh, we have introductions from the panel, uh, of about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I will <coughs> try and uh, um, uh, cut the presentation if possible. Uh, and then uh, we should then have about um, uh, half, an hour, half an hour for questions and answers. And then we have a short break at 4.30 uh, uh, to, uh, to, for people to come to the, to the panel and for the pa these panelists to um, to, um, 
to go to the to the audience. Right. Um, I think I suppose we should start now. Uh, Rafi, would you like to uh, to start with your uh, your, your introductory remarks? 